Hi, my name is Melissa Tribuani, and I have a third grader and a kindergartner at Spear Academy. My name is Donna Price. I have a second grader and a first grader at Espada Academy. I also serve on the PTO board as the communication secretary. Um, I was very excited uh, for the opportunity for have a charter school in Delaware, particularly to our school because it's a bilingual school. Um, and it was opening up that my son was going to be a kindergartner. So it was really exciting to be able to know we could get in on a rolling admissions basis. And I was just excited to have more options in Delaware that happened to open up right at the time that I needed them. Awesome. Um, I, as well, was really excited about the charter school opening. Um, it was at the same time that my son was going into kindergarten, and uh, we were not happy with the public school options. Um, the classes were overcrowded, and the children weren't getting the attention, um, and the success rate in high school and move on to college wasn't as great. So I wanted to make sure that the kids were in a great environment. Um, and then also living in Newark, it was perfect location. Um, my children are also uh, half Hispanic, so it was really great for me to put them into a school um, that would be biracial since they are Costa Rican and Peruvian, as well as being mixed with um, children that come from different races. I think it's been fantastic. I think one of the great things about a charter school and Espira specifically has been that the teachers are so enthusiastic um, about it's really like a family and the teachers are really enthusiastic about learning. Um, the children are really excited to be there. Uh, I've just been happy from the first day that we started. It's been really great. I've been really pleased with uh, my experience at Espada Academy, now having two children in the school. Um, they are really excited about learning. My son was very introverted going into school, um, and the teachers care so much having a smaller classroom, um, and a lot of them having teacher's aides, um, so they're able to spend a lot of individual time, and I was able to learn more on how my child was learning. Um, and they're also great in and out of the classroom with their teachers. They've made a lot of friends in the school. Um, and they also have been exposed to different types of families, blended families, um, multicultural families, um, and they've been really challenged in all their academics. So I've been very pleased with it. One big family. One big family. That's a good one. Um, I would say challenging. It's been a positive experience. Um, and I don't regret it. It's a little bit more, but very fun. That's how much I love it, <laughs> with their extra words. <laughs> And I would say the multicultural experience is um, is a, something that really drew me to Espada as well. And I live in a fairly integrated neighborhood, so my local school actually wouldn't, you know, was, was more integrated than maybe some of the other schools around. But I knew that at Espada there would be a lot of different kids and coming from all different areas and, and different backgrounds and um, different races and even just the variety of, quite frankly, of Hispanic families that we have when we have our. Uh, carnival, we have our Hispanic Heritage Night, um, you know, there's literally from just more than 10, 15 countries of, of different kind of countries and people represented there and the families and the grandparents come out and it's a really great experience that I'm glad that I'm a part of and that my children are a part of. And I agree right with what Mel was saying. Um, again, our school symbolizes on the community that our children will be in. So they're going to see every color. They're going to see every type of family from single parents to two um, parents in the home, um, blended families, those that have their abuelas that live with them, um, which they're going to see out in the real world. And they're able to learn about other culture, other cultures, which is really great, and also um, learn more about themselves. I've been really pleased. Uh, with the exposure and the education that the children are receiving.